British Rail had 512 Type 4 locomotives built both at True Works and the Brush Works at Loughborough, which later became known as Class 47s, making them the most numerous class of mainline diesel locomotive on British Rail. They operated on all regions of the network, and some members of the class are still in mainline service today. 47579 James Knightall GC is on extended loan to us from its present base at the Mangaps Railway Museum in Essex. Originally D1778, it was released to traffic in October 1964 and allocated to Tinsley Depot in Sheffield. The D prefix ahead of the number indicated that it was a diesel locomotive to avoid any confusion with the existing steam fleet. The type was classified as diesel electric, whereby a 12-cylinder Salter four-stroke diesel engine rated at 2,580 horsepower drives a DC main generator. DC current from the main generator is then used to power six electric traction motors, one for each axle, which provides for traction power. You could quite easily say that it was effectively a 56-year-old hybrid. During 1966 and 67, the type could be seen working over the Midhands route on diverted services due to the electrification works in the Basingstoke area. These trains included the prestigious Bournemouth Bell Pullman service. In 1974, with the introduction of Total Operations Processing System, better known as TOPS, every locomotive on British Rail was renumbered with a five digit number, the first two characters indicating the class. Under this scheme, the locomotive became 47183 and was allocated to Immingham, where it worked a lot of coal traffic in the area. 1981 saw the locomotive head for heavy overhaul. The overhaul saw the removal of a Spanner Mark III steam heat boiler and the provision of electric train heating, in line with BR's policy of converting the coaching stock at that period. Other modifications saw some of the control gear change to solid state cards in modules. This conversion work saw a number of the class be reclassified as 47 4 subclass, and in turn 47183 became 47579. The locomotive was named James Knightall GC on September 28, 1981, to remember the brave actions of 22 year old fireman James Knightall who was killed on the 2nd of June 1944 while splitting a burning ammunition train at Soham in Cambridgeshire. Having split the burning wagon from the rest of the train, they made a run for the open countryside, but the wagon's contents exploded and it passed through the station leaving a massive crater where the station had been and damaging some 800 houses in the town. James Knightall's actions along with his driver Benjamin Gimbert saved a far greater disaster as a result, they were two of the very few railwaymen to be awarded the George Cross for bravery. Sadly, the signalman at Soham, Frank Bridges, was also killed that night while assisting Gimbert and Nigel. He is remembered by a brass plaque on the signal box at Allsford. Another high point in 47579's career came on August 1st, 1985, when it worked for Royal Train, taking Her Majesty the Queen and Prince Philip to Great Yarmouth. Clearly a great accolade for the loco, as only the best locos were allowed anywhere near the royal train to avoid any embarrassing headlines in the papers. As was common with locomotives on British Rail, locomotives would move around the country rather than stay in one location, and having spent time at Stratford, moved to Old Oak Common and also Eastleigh. The spell at Eastleigh saw 47579 working for Waterloo, Salisbury, Exeter, West of England services, following it in the footsteps of our very own Lord Nelson, Canadian Pacific and latterly Lion. The locomotive ran in service until as late as 2004, eventually being replaced by the imported Canadian Class 66 locomotives. Towards the end of its mainline career, the loco was renamed and indeed renumbered for a time in the Rail Express Parcels Red Delivery as 47793 St Augustine and finally in English, Welsh and Scottish livery with yet another name, Christopher Wren. The locomotive can usually be found working engineering trains on the railway and occasional passenger trains. It is currently being used during shutdown to perform regular track inspections. 
and although it wasn't specifically built for the area, it is very much at home here, as part of a working diesel fleet on the Midhance Railway, the Watercrest Line. <laughs>